Okay, what we're going to do today is look at the DMX UMD software upgrade. I've connected my DMX UMD to my PC via the USB connection, so I'm going to click on the USB back on here and select the device and then click OK. Okay, what you see here is our traditional uh, front end GUI. Uh, this part hasn't changed, uh, but where you'll see the difference is when you click on the setup button. You're going to see Advance and the Basic button. We're going to click here first on the Advanced. And what we'll see is the traditional uh, polarity setup, driver settings, communication setup, DIO control, step and loop, and also some uh, miscellaneous settings. And so what, what we found was that certain customers, as they opened up the setup screen, they're a little bit overwhelmed uh, because they didn't meet all this uh, complexity. For example, on the step and loop control, uh, they wanted to make sure that the motor would correct if there were any positional errors, but they didn't uh, really care about how many times the motor would attempt to make a correction before an error is out, or uh, setting the tolerance range. If it was 5 versus 10, that wasn't such a big deal. So having these options here was just uh, added complexity uh, that wasn't uh, necessary. So as we thought back, okay, how could we make the user experience uh, even better? Well, we decided to create a basic setup screen. So if we click on the basic here, right now it's reading in all the settings. You're going to see a very simple uh, setup screen. Uh, you'll notice the driver settings, and now it's in steps per revolution, as opposed to the traditional one half uh, through one five hundredths uh, step. So for example, when you look at step resolution, you want to make it, uh, let's see here, we'll set it to 37,600. So what that means now is that in order to go one revolution through your stepper motor, you have, you're going to have to give it 37,600 steps. So that's very intuitive. And another difference here is the running torque. Instead of uh, an absolute uh, value in terms of the current, uh, we put into percentages. Uh, we found that customers uh, didn't really care about whether it's 2 amp or 3 amps. Uh, they just want to know relatively um, how much torque can they get. Another one is uh, the direction. You'll, you'll see that it's either clockwise or, or counterclockwise. And what we did here was we, we put in the uh, polarity settings that customers use the most. And the other ones uh, we've left that on the advanced screen. And perhaps the biggest improvement here is on the closed loop option. You'll notice before on the closed loop or step and loop uh, functionality, uh, the previous setting screen had about five different parameters. We had the step and loop ratio, we had the tolerance range, we had the error range, etc. And now what we've created is just a simple on or off. So based on all the driver settings and the direction polarity settings, uh, we're, we calculate all those other settings uh, internally within the software, and then we make those settings for you. And lastly, we have the DIO control. Uh, we found that there are customers that really like this feature, but it took them some time to get to. For example, they had to go to the advanced screen and then click on another screen in order, in order to get to this DIO control uh, panel. So we wanted to make it simple. Uh, right up front when you click on the basic setup screen. And here we have a simple on uh, or off. And we have your uh, DIO uh, parameters here. Okay. And uh, lastly, uh, we also added these help buttons here. So if the customer was not sure about what these settings did, they can click here, uh, for example, and there's a description of what uh, this function does. And so forth. So we have it for the the running torque, the holding torque, and etc. Okay. So once your settings are made, you're going to do a write, and that's it. And you are done. So once you close this, now let's say if you want to go back and change some more uh, settings that aren't available on the basic, you can go back and click on the advanced screen. You'll notice here that the step and loop ratio has changed because it had um, modified that care of calculation based on the micro step setting. Uh, so if you read here, you also see that the, uh, the micro step setting is now uh, 188, which correlates to the steps per revolution setting that we made in the basic screen. 
So what we have now, we have, you have best of both worlds. If you still want to use the advanced uh, settings panel, you can do that. Uh, if you want to use the basic settings, uh, you can also do that. And so that's about it for now. Uh, we want to continue to improve. Our, our products are easy to use, and that's the consistent feedback that we get. Uh, but we're always looking to uh, make the user experience uh, even better. Uh, thank you for choosing Arcus Technology, and we look forward to, to serving you.